Of course, shelters are not the only place you'll find the city's homeless. A popular hangout is the area near Crosstown and Agnes. There are several businesses around there, and some of the workers gave our Ashley Portillo their take on the homeless issue and the city's effort to deal with it. People who work near this intersection deal with the homeless on a daily basis, and they say they like the city's plan to address the homeless issue, but in the meantime, they've also done what they can to help those in need. It breaks my heart um, to see so many people in this situation. Ingrid Barrios works at Greenwood Architectural Doors and Contetta. That business sits at the Crosstown Agnes intersection and provides a front row seat to the Crosstown area where the homeless hang out. People do tend to sleep there and sometimes we find odd objects like razors or, or clothing even. Barrios says help the homeless by giving them food or small jobs. And when the homeless do need a bite to eat, they often go to the Stripes right down the road. That's open 24 hours. Across from that is LJA Auto Service, where Fernando Fragoso is the owner. It's dangerous. They're there, you know, anytime. In, in, in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. And these employees are just hoping that any help they can offer makes a difference in these people's lives. At least we're putting in our grain of sand and just taking it day by day. You know, start doing, you know, like, like things to help them. It's going to be good for them and, you know, for, for us too. He also spoke to the owner of Galvan Ballroom who says he also helps the homeless by letting them use the bathroom or even offering them small jobs like washing windows whenever they need it. Back to you. And there are, of course, several groups that also go out to the Crosstown Agnes area regularly to help feed the homeless.